in this episode. First official special guest. Special guest. Scott Coach Castle. Scott Castle, McGoffin County. In the house here. Mr. McGoffin County right now. Mr. McGoffin County. You know, really, really had no, no thoughts of, of leaving McGoffin County. Well, we get that question asked on here a lot. Russell Harrod actually showed me how to shoot a basketball in yeah. grade school. He's the one showing me how to shoot. <laughs> yeah, he's very missed, Russell. Yeah. He's in yeah. green. Yeah, all those old boys. I, I did see Coach Adams yeah. made it. This is Big John, the producer of the Appalachian Connection podcast. Oh, yeah. Of course, I got our host, Big Tony Allen from the Farmhouse Diner, and all the way over to our right, Cousin Wolf Montgomery. How's it going? How's it going, everybody? We are, uh, we're starting a little late, uh, Mr. Full packed house here. (laughs) It's packed here, so we've had to kind of, uh, yeah, we've, we've kind of had to. Got in amongst them. <laughs> we, we've got amongst we've got everybody here. Them. There you go. <laughs> we've got amongst everybody here. Uh, so we're, we're all trying to, to get along together here. We're all, you know, we're together. We are. We're together. Yeah. We're trying to uh, get everything situated. And uh, Scott Castle, the McGough County High School basketball coach, is supposed to be on his way. We need a he actually thought it was Monday. But <laughs> <laughs> and there he, uh, there he is. He's walking in the door right as we speak. Special guest. Special, our first official special guest. Special guest. Scott Coach Castle. Scott Castle, McGoffin County. In the house here. Mr. McGoffin County right now. Mr. McGoffin County right now. Have you got Jill? No, no well, it's your seat there, brother. How's it going, uh, Scotty? Sorry, guys. I, Coach. No problem, Coach. All right, pull it over here. We're glad to have you. <clears throat> Give him that thing. Yeah. Give him a mic, boys. <laughs> Got the main man here. What's it doing? What are you going to run for now, Scott? You can <laughs> win for anything. <laughs> oh. Did it go dead? Okay, this thing's off. Grab your seat and we'll get you on live. What do you want to drink, some, Scott? Uh, yeah, she's getting it. Okay. Deep intellectual questions for you. Oh, yeah. It's oh, deep, boys. It's big. And uh, <laughs> folks who don't know, you're looking at four Give me some. products of Check. Middle Fork of McGoughlin County. Four, yep, four, all four products yeah. of Middle Fork of McGoughlin County. And all cousins. And all kin, you know. Check, yeah. check, 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 check. Well, we can, you know. We, uh, you know. Give him that. Well, it's got to earn it. Clip that on, brother. And clip that again. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, I'd like to shout out to the main man, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Savior makes it all possible Amen. and everything. Get that in there. We've all got our maroon McGoffin County attire. Co- Coach, it has a magnet if you want to pull it off and put wherever you want, but that's fine, however you want. Yeah. And it's warm. It's, you know, it should oh, yeah. probably wear this Wednesday. It'll be yeah. cool. Yeah, the dogwoods will be blooming soon. The power <laughs> trees is budded, and you better have your peas out. There we go. All right. I think we're good. Uh, let me get – you guys watching, let me know how Coach Castle sounds. So I'll try to fix it. How we go here, it actually was – the receiver was dead. So <laughs> Plug it up. For some Don's got some pretty good uh, questions for him. We, we got all kinds of questions. Uh, let's go through the sponsors real quick, then we'll get to interviewing uh, Coach Castle. Here we got Tracked Outdoors, Granny Made Cheesecake, Creekside Stitching, and more. They wanted to make sure that I took off the fishing. They actually have bait, but they don't have no fishing stuff. Uh, of course, Creekside Stitching and more actually has made these T-shirts and hats that we're giving away tonight. So this is our giveaway. Awesome Hornet gear. We've got 15th Region 2024 champions McGoffin County Hornets got a hat and a t-shirt to give away to one of our viewers tonight oh yeah and like I said guys we're popping down here right now so bear with us with the background noise the <laughs> it is, is packed tonight here at seven o'clock it's kind of like the trees this spring it's blooming oh yeah it's blooming oh yeah and uh bear with us we've got an awesome audience 
We got Jessica D. Williams Photography, Appalachia TCG, the famous farmhouse diner, Parkway Peddlers Mall, Sloan Crowd Practor, and Rolton Community Council. We're racked up on the sponsors here. Everything should be rotating in the top. Y'all want to get more? Keep your label. Like I said, we're we're, you know we're we're trying to help our local business. That Creekside Station got it all, brother. Oh yeah, everything. Peddlers Mall. Listen, if you need fishing hooks or a Craftsman drill, they get it for you. Oh yeah, they got everything there, and they've made all of our gear. Right, everything we got here, we're all decked out in the maroon and white. And we're all maroon and white alum. I oh, mean, yeah, all. It, all know? of We're us. all graduates of the beautiful McGoffin County High School or Sayersville High School, I guess, in your, <laughs> your case. Just, just hot. Yeah, I go way back. <laughs> Somebody said 1953 yeah. they almost won the regionals. I think regionals I was alive. No, I weren't. I was a 54 model. 1953? 1953. <laughs> Martin County. Martin County. Martin County. Oh, yeah, it was Martin County. Ironic, yeah. <laughs> I think 84 Central beat them out to go with it. Then 84, yes. you were there, Harry, wasn't you? Harry Meek, yeah. yeah. I was there in 84, guys. I've felt the heartbreak and I've felt the. Uh, the good time now. And in you know. 1996, I was there when J.R. Van Hoos and the Paintsville Tigers beat them in, in the final regional game to go on to win the state championship that year. Yeah. Watch your 1996. So this is the first time ever Coach Cassie uh, has took them all the way. Yeah, that's awesome. He almost done it with the girls, right? If I he did. researched he right. He did. Well, I was an assistant coach in, in uh, the with the 2005-06. Oh, you uh, was? Okay. So and you then, did. Uh, when we went to the state tournament, in 2012 when my daughter played she was a sophomore yeah. I was assistant coach at that time okay took over the girls program in 2013 and um, okay we won an all-a tournament and no, went to the state tur- state all-a tournament and then yeah. um, Give him one. won a district title and then um, came one point shy oh. of beating uh, Shelby Valley in the finals of the girls, yeah. girls uh, uh, regional tournament. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and, the, and probably <laughs> the lowest scoring ball game in the history of girls basketball. Wow. 30s. 23 to 22. Yeah, that's what it's yeah. 20 to 30. Uh, yeah, I've had the first 15 regional titles was girls, 2006. <laughs> I have first state win girls basketball, 2012. So they went in 2012 and actually won their first game. Yes, we beat, uh, beat Then I had you down coaching, head, head coaching the girls, 2013 through 16. Is that right? 2013 to 16, did uh-huh. you head coach the girls? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. Well, I remember. I, was, I, was, I went and looked up a bunch of information. I, I was like, I got to see I if I get this right. I remember walking through Middle Fork Elementary <laughs> and a big trophy case. Yeah. And pictures of Scott and Jeff Castle in Middle Fork Elementary inside a big trophy case. <laughs> I remember seeing that. Oh, yeah. 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 So you played for Middle Fork? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, we all play. You played for Middle Fork, well, didn't yes, you? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. Tried to play. I was just trying to play at that time. <laughs> yeah, I, big. I remember I cut to the basket one time in Middle Fork. Somebody has a video of this, too, but it's playing Millard Hensley. I was cutting down low, and I never got past the ball, so I wasn't expecting. I was just, you know, charging full force to my spot. Somebody threw it and hit me right on top of the head, and it bounced. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a video out there of somebody. I know who has it, but we might not release that. I dug I don't out know. my Middle Fork <laughs> Elementary shirt and I went to put it on, and everything I had was hanging out. I said, This won't work. <laughs> I had one, though. I still had it. I said, This ain't going to work. Scott, we're really glad, really glad that you uh, came over to talk to us and put you out there on Facebook. There's no doubt you're no stranger to the coaching and winning. And uh, I think I speak for Auburn Golf County. We're just proud of you as we can be. And me especially, we got a lot of history, you know. And we played a lot of ball, and we hunted, and we've had a lot of laughs. And, and uh, we could do a podcast on that right there by <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yeah. We really appreciate you coming tonight. Yeah, we really appreciate you showing up. You're our official first guest. Yeah. We've had go. some unofficial first ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, you got any Appalachian hillbilly words that you like to say? Oh, no. No, we won't get into, we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. many words. That's what he, we kind of do. We, I'm we sure got he's got words. Yeah. We're going to try to fit everything in tonight, guys. You know, of course, we're, we're just all tickled to death about this ball game right now, you know. And yeah. uh, probably we'll uh, talk more on that than anything else. And uh, it, it, we're going to try to make it interesting. So just bear with us and uh, try to have a good time. Yeah. If you guys could like and share this out, I know we got more than uh, 50 viewers out there. So, like and share this out. We're on YouTube, too. I know there's a lot of people looking on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys are watching over an Appalachian Connection on the YouTube channel. We're live everywhere. I'm even live on Twitter right now. Oh, yeah. We got 15. Did you get Sister Jewel lined up? <laughs> I know. Let me, let me try to get that. Oh, she'll be mad. Scott, what's the... 
we got a ton of questions for you. Uh, Go ahead, I know, Tony. First off, congratulations to Martin County. They played a good game, but I and and, and you know class act. And uh, but I'm going to tell you, I've never seen a better defensive coached or played game than since. I, I mean, I think the do. I mean, you what what are they averaging? 80 points per game. Yeah. And you held them to 57. Yeah. yeah. That's I mean that's defense. Yeah. yeah. And if you uh, you know if you really really uh, watch the whole tournament, I mean it, it started with the second half of the Floyd Central game. Uh, you know, we started playing some lockdown defense and, and uh, getting stops. And uh, when, once you get it in the regional tournament, that's what it takes to, to win, especially against good teams. So uh, defense and rebound, uh, you know, won those games for us. Yeah, yeah. I think the old saying is uh, offense sells tickets and defense wins championships. I yeah. guess you probably yeah. said that. Yeah, I've hey, been, been <laughs> preaching that a long time. Yeah. Preaching that a long yeah. time. But, you know, the, the kids, uh, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a team play as hard as they did. Oh, they, they played their hearts out. They played, they played really yeah, good. They did. They played, played hard. Had a great bunch of kids too. Great bunch of kids, and uh, you know they was uh, they was not they were not going to lose that game. Uh, I'll tell you what, we, it, it was it was amazing to watch. They, yeah. And they come down here and they eat. They've been down here several times. Just gentlemen, you know, well behaved. You can just tell they're a great bunch of kids. Yeah, I was. Uh, and it, it meant a lot to McGoffin County. Like me, it meant a lot to me. I ain't never played basketball for high school or anything, but you know. Well, it's just, it's this is no doubt the biggest thing, you know, to ever happen to McGoffin. I mean, that's one of my bucket lists, you know. I didn't think I was ever going to live to see it. Well, that's, no. what, that's what I was getting ready to say, and, uh, you know. Uh, uh, after that game, just to see so much emotion in the crowds, uh, you know, the older generation there oh, uh, shedding tears, the, yeah. the, the middle 40 age, years the, the for younger, me yeah. since 84. Uh, <laughs> Been you know, on the and, road. And it's sad to say, but, you know, I was kind of to the point that I didn't think that there would ever be a boys team go to the state tournament. Well, that leads me into a question I had for you, Scott. When was there a certain point in the season or a certain game that you thought maybe we got a shot at this? Or well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it was last year. I thought the team that we had last year, uh, with the three seniors that left us, Ben Lafferty, Colin Literal, and Brennan Henson. Uh, you know, I thought we had a shot at it last year, but uh, we go over to the district tournament. We shoot 19 percent from the field. Or, I'm sorry, we shoot 22 percent from the field. We yeah. shoot 19 more shots in Paintsville and uh, we put us in a position there that you know we just couldn't get over the hump and put the game into overtime but you know Paintsville uh, with Fugit uh, beat us and uh, no doubt that was probably one of the toughest uh, things I've ever had to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids left uh, you know my kids came in and, and uh, I'll be honest with you we stood there and cried for 20 minutes uh, because I really thought that we had a shot last year. Yeah. Uh, going into this season, uh, and if you recall, the last two seasons, the 15th region player of the year was playing with a torn labrum, yeah. which he had to yeah, that is. and then he had an Achilles injury, so he was playing probably at 60%. Yeah. So, you know, we finally get a, a healthy Aiden back, uh, getting back in the gym. Um, you know, we go down to, to Tennessee early in early in the year, playing playing some good teams down there and really competing at a high level. Uh, so I knew that we had the, the ingredients of, of a good team. Uh, but like you said, you know, you've got to get it in their heads that hey, you've got, you got to play lockdown defense and rebound and play as a team. Oh, yeah. Because everybody knows that our, our district across Kentucky is one of the toughest districts to, to play it in. It is, yeah. And, uh, you know, with the new format of the Super Regional this year, you know, really nobody knew how it was going to work out. So, uh, you know, it worked out pretty good for us, even though, that, you know, we're, we're the first team in, in the state of Kentucky that's had to win four games to get to the state tournament. Yeah. You know, that, I, that was tough. Four games. Yeah. That was... Yeah. <laughs> me then then Johnson coaches. Central yeah. just... A coach's mentality is different than a fan's mentality. Oh, yeah, 100. I, I had an old football coach one time and, and somebody asked him and I heard him and they said don't you want to score touchdowns he said no I want to win three to zero yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's that's a speak to the defense you know yeah. a coach's mentality is different than a, putting on a show yeah. they want to win yeah. you know, well, you know I, and I think that was a turning point for us uh, you know with with uh, Aiden's leadership uh, being a senior having all the experience a high basketball IQ early in the season uh, I think that he was not trusting his teammates like he should have um, and uh, we get 
three quarters of the way through the season, and, and you know, I, I keep telling him, I said, we can't do this yeah. by, by yourself. We, I know, we've got to have help. I know Ethan Sayer and Grayson Whitaker really started hitting a lot of threes there. They, well, they, they knocking they down did, threes. And, and uh, consistent, you know, you bring Noah Salmon's off of the Noah bench. Salmon, we tell yeah. him, Noah, when you're in the ball game, if you don't shoot it, you're coming out of the ball game. Yeah. That's what you're supposed yeah, to do. He can hit it. I've watched him. I've watched him all you year. Know, he, had, he had some big baskets against uh, Johnson Central. Johnson Central made that run. He had five straight points. Um, and then we bring uh, uh, Reed Meadows in. Yeah. There for a crucial, I mean, as soon as we put him in, he gets a cr crucial yeah. rebound and a putback, and that stops their run, and it creates a run for us. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people uh, need to understand that this is a total team win. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, total they, total yeah. team effort. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you, got, you got to trust each other. I was impressed with the Russell kid there. Thing. Hey. Oh, hey, he, that, he stepped up, buddy. He stepped up. Yes, We've sir. started calling him the super sophomore. Yeah, he D &D. stepped up and yeah. really did. Yeah. I mean, he was just, you well, know, they all. Super I mean, sophomore. It was, a, it was a team effort. I noticed yeah. one thing while I was watching them, too. It seemed like they was playing really loose. I mean, they it was were, like they was having fun. I thought that yeah, we, they, I thought we were the loosest team in the tournament. And it's hard to beat a team that's having fun playing. Well, especially when you get some confidence like we did the Prestonburg game. Ethan Sayer mm -hmm. knocks those threes down. Yep. That carries over into the, into the regional tournament. Mm -hmm. He hits two or three points. I mean, he's at, he went to, what do you have against uh, uh, Floyd Central? 20 points. I think so. Came yeah. back the next night, had probably 18 points. And, you know, uh, that's impressive when the whole season he's guarded the other team's best player mm -hmm. and then to come out in that championship game and, and uh, hold uh, hell to, I think, 13 points. Yeah. Uh, Guys, if you're planning on going to Rupp, I want to announce this too. My wife told me to. Uh, you can access tickets two different ways. You can go through Rupp Arena, actually Ticketmaster, StubHub, all that sort of stuff, and yeah. get them. And those are good for both games that day. And there, Or you can go through the school yeah. and you can get tickets in the pet section but uh we encourage everybody we're going 100 we're all going. Going, so we encourage everybody <laughs> yeah. uh, the farmhouse diner will be closed on wednesday because we're going to rep arena so you we're going to get a us. cup of coffee anyway <laughs> <laughs> we're nobody going, here. We're, listen we are so proud 100 of going and if you've not got out and watched these young men play and not got out and met them they are the greatest and, and most well behaved and and most grown up gentlemanly bunch of kids that you'll ever come in contact we're Scott, i want to get on a personal note here not uh -huh. to interrupt you tony but uh with so many people you know my you know my kids and uh my nephews and uh many more have left mcgolfin county to pursue careers and uh what was your reason for staying around and you know for staying in mcgolfin county and did and to uh, do what you do well I'm, I'm like you guys uh you know born and raised in mcgolfin county and you know yep. uh, you love the county and you love the people in the county you love the community uh, so, uh, you know, I, I'm right at home where I need to be. Um, so, um, you know, really, really had no, no thoughts of, of leaving McGoffin County. Yeah, we get that question asked on here a lot from all of us. Yeah, like, would you ever live anywhere else? And it's easy for me to answer no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to live anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've just, lived other know, places, and yeah. this is way more uh, relaxed yeah, than I mean, any other place. You know, uh, championship game, uh, you, you know, you're out there on the floor, and you turn around, and you look at the crowd, and, and oh, my goodness, man. I mean, it was it was crazy. Up there. It, it was, yeah. it was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Well, what inspired you to into the coach and be a coach and? Or well, who, or you know, with kids, you you kind of get involved in in uh, in what they're interested in, and yeah. right. you know, with uh, my oldest Jamie, uh, she was always a basketball player, and uh, so you know, we've we've lived in the gym since she was four or five years old, and it's just uh, it's just carried over. I think uh, sports is important for kids. It shows how to be a teammate, even if they get a job and you know well, wherever they work, you got to work with people. You, right. you got to learn how to work you know, with everybody. You, yeah, your work ethic, your your character. Yeah, uh, just so much that uh, people can take away from sports that yeah. uh, that do play sports. And uh, <laughs> for some reason, people think coaches around here get paid millions of dollars. They even like baseball, like even little league baseball coaches or you know middle school coaches. And I'm like, listen, guys, we don't do this for a paycheck. 
Like I well, promise. Well, I'm, I'm going to talk. To, <laughs> I'm going to talk to the board. You know, since we. Yeah, yeah, you probably get yeah. We're going. We're going to see if we can hit a million. Good timing. <laughs> Great timing. Yeah. Well, we renew that contract. Yeah. And people yeah. don't realize, you know, that these coaches. I know Scott. You know, I know Scott on a personal level have other jobs. Yeah, and the sacrifice yeah. time that they have to make to even put it all together. Yeah, I've had to drive from Foothills, Florida, all the way over here just to catch the bus to get on the middle school. Yeah, yeah. You know, the middle school well, like game. The other morning we were down here having breakfast with the team, and Scott said, nah, "I got to go." He said, "I've got a meeting." You know, he's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, which was sweeter, Scott, for you? The which win, the girls or the the guys? Uh, well, you know, uh, of course, the, you know, with my daughter in 2012, just to share that experience. Right. Uh, but uh, you know, these uh, these boys, uh, they're they're just like my own. I mean, I love them just like my own. We we've had a lot of uh, uh, good times. We've had a lot of tears. Uh, yeah. And just to see them work as hard as they have to represent this community, uh, to represent uh, you know McGoffin County across their chest. Uh, and to see the smiles and, and them jumping and crying uh, when that final horn sounded, uh, I don't think I'll ever forget it. Well, I won't either. <laughs> Was you able to hold it back, or did you just let it go? No, I, 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 shed, some, I shed some tears. Yeah, I, I tried to make a video, and I was just like, yeah. and, and I got to quit. You know, sometimes it's tough to talk about. Uh, you know, you build that relationship with, with your players, and, and you love them just like your own. and It's, uh, it's, it's tough. Tough. Well, I tell you what, that photo with Gumby, super fan Gumby, <laughs> he he it destroyed the looks of his face. I tell you. He, he cried so much he got a piece of the net. I, I felt sorry for him. Yeah. <laughs> Remember he cried so much he got a piece of the net. Well, this Kenny Gumby, Gumby yeah, loves this. Yeah, I mean, he, he'd drive 100 mile an hour oh, to get to watch the oh, second yeah. half of a yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. He, you know? wouldn't, he wouldn't have missed that game for anything in the world. Yeah. Will the game be on TV? You can watch it uh, on. They're, they're streaming it on something. I'm not sure, but we'll try to get that out to you, Angie. I think D and D Sports was in here today, and they said they would definitely be trying to stream. I, I don't think, I don't know. They might. But did they say they were going to try to stream? They said they were going to try to. Oh, that'd be awesome if they did. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, definitely. What did you tell the guys before the game? Your speech, you know. The uh, well, you know, I, I, I think that the uh, they all run together, you know. We do so many pre-game speeches, and oh, yeah. we try to do, you know, as much as we can. But uh, you know, I think the the topic that night was was believe. You know, if you dream about things, about doing doing things all the time, uh, wanting to accomplish something that no one has accomplished before. Uh, in order to uh, to do that, if you don't have any belief in yourself, it's hard to. You can, you're not going to accomplish. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? Exactly. So, that's why I always tell. You know, that's why I tell. I mean, something had them loose. They was yeah. really. Yeah, we uh, really we try to keep them as loose as possible. And like I said, I thought they were the loosest team playing in the tournament, and uh, that carried over. You know, it seemed like it just their confidence built from game to game, and uh, once we got to that point where we created that separation in the championship game. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they just wasn't going to lose. Boy got hacked. I mean, it's rough. Yeah. I've never seen them like that. <laughs> Two refs were from the WWE, and the other one was from the WWF. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wow. But, you know, we we talked about that uh, in pregame as well. You know, they're not they're not going to call fouls. We know how Martin County plays. I mean, they're yeah. they're as athletic as any small college team that that I've watched play. Yeah. And they're uh, good team. You know, to to battle like our kids did for 32 minutes, especially after they made that run, it's just a testament of of the competitors that we have and the heart that they have uh, to to win that ball game. Yeah. But anything for you? Yeah, I just uh, I, I I just want to congratulate him. I want to thank him for coming down here and talking with us. And I just he's a, a guy, like I said, guy. Well, I'm not done we're yet. Proud. We're proud. <laughs> Don's got all kinds of questions. We are, we are proud of our local. Yeah, team. this we're is awesome. Coach about, Castle and all the. I kids. mean, it's big. I ain't letting him go with this. Oh, quick. it's no. big. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, this is big. I've waited too long. This one bigger, bigger than when Linda Johnson come to East Kentucky in the '60s. It's big. It is. It is. Bigger than yeah. I better not say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you feel about uh, we, we got a bunch of people uh, uh, yeah, leaving right now <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it's kind of like, it's a little noisy, but uh, this it, farmhouse is packed. All right. Farmhouse is absolutely packed. And we appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to hit that share button. If you know everybody should be sharing right now, getting this out. We got our, uh, you know, we got yeah. Scott Castle of the Mighty McGoffin County Hornets here. To, won the first regional championship for the boys ever in McGoffin County. It's kind Never of insane. In history. It's big. Ever. Well, how ever. do you feel about? Uh, and there's been all kinds of legendary teams throughout the years. You know, I, I yeah. talk to people, and there's been so many good basketball teams in McGoffin County that's never hit it. Well, and people don't, like I said, people don't realize how tough it is to let alone get in the regional tournament. Yeah. But you, you have to, you have to get a good draw. You gotta, ha you have to have luck, and then you have to be playing your best basketball. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, many, many years the best team doesn't always win. That's right. Yeah, but I think we got it right this year. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I think so. I we do, too. I do, too. I always said that. Yeah. I surely did. Don, you got more questions, don't you? Yeah, I'd like <laughs> to ask him just, uh, uh, you're going to be playing Prairie Central mm -hmm. in the first game. Oh, there he, there he put this on WKYT. And, uh, <laughs> you've got a nephew playing on that team, I understand. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how do you feel against uh, – Coaching against your nephew and uh, that team in general. Uh, well, you know. Uh, yeah. I guess you're proud of him, also. I'm sure. Yeah, proud of him. You know, he was the MVP of the 14th regional tournament. Uh, was he? Yeah. He, he's a he's a really really good basketball player. Uh, but uh, you know, we're going to love him until about Wednesday at last. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, he, he's a castle, too. I got, I got a question. And that, that means he's a, com, a competitor. When you watch yeah. him play, more uh, like you, more like Jeff, which one would you say? Uh, well, if he plays rough, it's more like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was pretty rough because, I, you know, I wasn't a really good ball player, so I had to I had to cheat and do whatever I had to do. Who is? Uh, Who is? Who is? On Facebook? On Facebook? Yeah. Well, well who, uh, so you think he's more like you? Is the sound okay, guys? Well, I, you know what? Let me know out there. I don't really think he's like Leave you me one because he's more of an inside post player. Oh, is he bigger kid? Uh, yes, he, he's a good size, good yeah. size boy. He's he's probably a little bit taller, about we inch and a half a taller bit. than me, and probably weighs uh, two hundred and. 30 pounds maybe right. yeah uh, he's a bruiser yeah uh, we'll have trouble with him uh, is he power forward is that what they, yeah well yeah. I remember Scott that's one thing you always had in common with me you hated to lose mm -hmm. and you didn't care to put me into the wall if I had a layup <laughs> and uh, I remember all that stuff you know and just laugh come on pick me up yeah. you know and uh, uh, I think you uh, I see that in your players yeah that they hate to lose yeah they do and I love that yeah sounds you good know, in Indiana uh, everybody says it sounds good so let's just keep yeah. rolling <laughs> and your mom uh, she must be the proudest person ever got a son and a grandson and a sweet 16 that is and, kind of crazy. and one of them is going to get a win again yeah that's pretty big yeah. you know and maybe. I told her I said I hope it's me yeah <laughs> uh, yeah she's uh, the you know the games up and up at uh, Pipe from the regional tournament. Uh, she she couldn't even hardly listen to the radio for crying. <laughs> uh, afraid that we were going to get beat. So uh, yeah, I'm not so sure that she's even going to listen to the game on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, well, she can't lose, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, but uh, I knew you won that game, and you asked Tony when uh, uh, Aiden. Shot the free throw and it went around the rim about twice. <laughs> it leaned over this way and then fell in. I said, The game's over, Tony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, did. I, said, that's I was like, That's it. Yeah. I, I weren't even excited after that. Oh, like there's said, a super fan, boys. You got to have a little luck. Yeah. You got to have a little luck and you yeah. got to take the shots where they fall. Yeah. You know, you got to yeah. take it where it goes. And, you know, what, and what kind of, what kind of <laughs> tournament did, did Aiden have? I mean, oh, like an incredible tournament. 100 points. Oh, that kid. Listen, now, when they picked him preseason number two, I was like, I told him, I said, No. Oh, you're the best. You're the best player in the region, and you're, you're going to be. You're going to win the 15th region player of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he's worked hard, uh, not only you know at practice, but he's put time in with Corey Hayes. Um, and, I've uh, heard good things about Corey yeah. Hayes. Yeah, yeah. since and, I've been involved uh, you know, in sports really more right here. Yeah. Well, you know, and I hate to yeah. keep drumming on this because we love all of McGoffin County, but uh, yeah. again, there you have a product of Middle Fork. You know, mm -hmm. his, his yeah. dad and I grew up together yeah. like brothers, and yeah. uh, we both went to Middle Fork Elementary. Yeah. And so, <laughs> you know, that's one thing that the uh, Middle Fork boys have in common. Yeah. We all hate to lose. That's true. Man, you know the Allens and shoot. Yeah, we kill each other. And you're going to do whatever. Mad. 
mitten. <laughs> yeah. mitten. It don't matter. Yeah. Scott would come over to the house. I Corn mean, we'd have cookouts, and and we was trying to figure out something to do. <laughs> we'd jump brooms, or we'd say before anybody could jump and about kill poor Barry yes, Allen, yeah. you know. And we was always competing, yeah. and we took it serious, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think life's a lot like that, you know. You really got to get down with it and get mad at it sometimes. But. Uh, were you happy or were you sad that you drew Perry Central in the first game? No, I, I'm I'm happy. Like I said, you know, come Wednesday, uh, you know, we know that uh, Carter's going to compete against us and we're going to compete against them. Uh, we played, had an opportunity to play them earlier in, in the year, I think second game of the season, and they, they beat us five. Uh, you know, we, we gave that game away. We got an eight-point lead with about three and a half minutes to go and, and didn't handle their, their ball pressure in full court. Uh, we've grown up a lot since then as a team, and um, you know I'm I'm looking forward to to a good game, and in, in, in my heart I think that we can win that game. Is Jeff involved with coaching up there? Or he, he's not. Uh, he's uh, he sits in the stands, and you know for for my brother to sit in the stands and it's, it's tough. <laughs> tough on him because yeah. usually yeah. he calls me after every ball game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, you know, and, and we come one ace of uh, getting Carter over here to, to play. Yeah. Um, if it hadn't been for him wanting to play soccer, I think he would have been the Golfing County Hornet this year. And for you, those guys that don't know, Scott and his brother Jeff are twins, so that's mm -hmm. a special bond in itself. Yeah, okay. you know? I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah they're okay. twins. Yeah. yeah, I'm the good looking one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got the good genes up. <laughs> no, yeah. Scott, I'm no. going to ask you a question. Uh, yeah. Of course, you probably get some offers. Uh, have you ever, or would you consider coaching at a higher level if you had the opportunity? No, no, I'm not. Um, I'm not really for sure how how much longer I'll, I'll be in. Um, uh, you know, high school basketball. Uh, each year it gets harder with work. You know, always yeah. before I was out on the road and kind of made my own schedule. I've switched jobs inside the company and. You know, I'm a eight to four thirty guy. I can't leave the house until four thirty, and mm -hmm. then, you know it's usually close the laptop lid and jump in the car and get to the gym. Yeah, so, I know you've put the effort in. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I know how, the how tough that it, it is. takes. Yeah. Lord, yeah. So, uh, time. you know, I I want to stay until we we find somebody that is going to put in the time, and more importantly, it cares about the kids. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think that. Uh, I think a, a good coach has to has to relate to his players. Um, so uh, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, I mean, I may have I may have two more years in me, may have five more. Just, just don't know. <laughs> Great. Yeah, we try to keep you as long as we can, you know. Well, yeah, we, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. We, uh, if I get that contract extension, we'll be here a long time. There we go. <laughs> you need that lifetime uh, yeah. contract that Cal Perry has, don't you? Lifetime. Make it a day job. <laughs> well, like I said, it's uh, it's it's just uh, we're just so proud, and we want to thank you all of us again for coming down here. I know you're busy, and I know you're, and it means a lot to us here for you to come yeah. down and even sit and talk with us. I mean, it's absolutely really, really cool. We appreciate. It. Yeah, well, we, we, we appreciate, uh, appreciate, uh, you. appreciate you guys. Uh, I saw. I got to see Aiden's dad. I got to give him a big hug before the game. I tried seen him at games, but we were sitting so far apart. I hadn't got to talk with him. You know, we grew up. We were real close. You know, like brothers. And went all through. Started kindergarten. Graduated high school together. Played football together. You know, went to college mm -hmm. together. So we were run around together. Done things we won't talk on here together. Yeah. So we we were pretty tied. And that kid is a spitting image of him. I mean, oh, he yeah, reminds he me so much yeah. of him. <laughs> And his play style similar yeah. too, you know. Yeah. Uh, Robert was a big style uh, kid too. Yeah. You know? yeah. Robert never, you know, playing ball of any kind, he never, never backed down from anything. You know, he'd lower his head, yeah. buddy, and charge like a bull. Right, right. <laughs> he'd take yeah. a licking, you yeah. know. But we grew up hard in those oh, days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And people wanted me to ask, and we'll ask you, what do you think? Technology, of course, you know from our era there wasn't no such thing. How's it changed the game? Has it affected the kids in the game any? Well, it has, and and you know, uh, for example, the you know the off-season workouts with uh, different trainers. <coughs> I mean, basketball has become an all-around season now. Yeah. If you yeah. want to compete at a high level, if you come in and if you wait till October the fifteenth, the first official day that you can practice, yeah, you're falling way behind. Uh -huh. And especially with uh, so much social media now, you know, there's yeah, more. 
media's just, big yeah, right now. Yeah, it's big. They're, you know, the better you are, the more you're seen. Yep. Kids, kids understand that. We try to put that in the middle school football players' mm-hmm. heads. I was like, guys, you need to be like on social media, but don't put anything stupid on right. social media. Right. But, but, but then you ever, need to be on it for college if you're thinking about college. Then you see that. I guess you still see that special once in a lifetime God given talent come through. Well, you know, Aiden Barnett, he's a generational player. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, if, if we have players like that every two years. We'd be competing for a regional title yeah. every two years. I remember uh, my daughter and his daughter, good friends, they're the same age, just like me and Robert were, and they're, they're big-time buddies. And we, he would, she would come to our house, or, or Clara would go to her house, and every time I took her down there, that kid, when he was little, He's outside shooting the basketball, shooting yeah. the basketball, shooting yeah. the basketball. One yeah. more thing, Scott, your opinion on this. What, uh, when do you think uh, that there might be a time clock in high school basketball? You know, uh, listening to the commissioner, I, I'm, I'm not sure that they're even considering it. You right mean a now. shot clock down there? Yeah. Yeah. Clock. Clock. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not so sure that they're even considering it right now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, there's so many high schools and stuff. It'd be kind of hard to get somebody to well, always be accurate with that. I'm sure. Well, that brings up another and, good question for and, you. And you know, you have to have extra help. Yeah, you have to have extra help to install it. Um, so well, I'm not. There's sure. a lot. A lot of the fans a lot out there that, that I, yeah. I hear talking, and me too, are confused. What what's changed with the fouls? Like you know, so many fouls per half. You're in the bonus, double bonus. So after after the uh, at the the fifteen foul of each quarter, uh, instead of going. It was, you know, the bonus at seven, seven fouls. Or now at five fouls, uh, you shoot two shots regardless. Mm-hmm. You shoot it don't two carry shots, over, and it does not carry over to the next quarter. Okay, and that, that the purpose of that's to speed up the game. You think? I think it's to speed up the game. Uh, that's why I, I read too that uh, to cut down on injuries. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the theory behind that, but uh, you know. But if you're if, I've never, I've never heard I mean, that one. it could be a disadvantage to you if you're trailing late in a ball game and, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, the t- team's getting two shots every time they go to the yeah. free throw line. Yeah. So um, you kind of have to be careful on what you do. And I'm sure we can't have you tell it on air, but you've got a big awesome game plan for Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them is to stop my nephew. <laughs> uh, he's, like I said, we'll, we'll have trouble out of him, but, you know, we've got to – Got to buckle down, play defense like we did in the regional tournament. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, everything hopefully will take care of itself as long as we get shots. Um, it's as old as time itself, you know, it the is. old coaches. And like I said, guys, it's different from a fan's perspective because you want to go out there and be entertained, and we get that. Yeah. But then on the inside, your coach is telling you, hey, it don't matter if you score five points or if you score 500 right. points. As long as the other team don't score, you still win. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we got super fan in the house. Yeah, we got Paul super. Gumby, Montgomery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he, he's, he's, he's been uh, to all of them, you know. He's, he's been there. He's uh, Yeah, we I, you know, I'll, I'll make I'll add this comment it is uh, you know I so wish that uh, uh, Coach Jerry Patrick and, and uh, you know the true Hornet uh, fan Green Man and, absolutely and, and, uh, you know, we were good, talking a good, about that. good friend of mine Russell Howard uh, yeah oh, I wish yeah. they could have got a chance to witness this because that's all they talked about and they would have yeah. been at Rupp and Arena they, listen they would have been they would have been out <laughs> Russell Howard actually showed me how to shoot a basketball in yeah. grade school he's yeah. the one showed me how to shoot <laughs> yeah he's very missed Russell yeah. he's in yeah. Green now yeah, all those old boys. I did see Coach Adams yeah. made it. Coach Adams didn't make it. Uh, I asked Coach Adams to deliver the pregame speech uh, Wednesday. He's agreed to do that, so uh, he's going to be in the locker room with us. Great. Uh, you know, a great mentor, uh, a great friend. Um, uh, all the the girls and boys basketball players look up to him, mm-hmm. and uh, you know. Uh, well, you have to look up to him. He's about six six. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my neck's bad these days, and it's tough sometimes to, to yeah. look up that high. Um, so glad that uh, he agreed to come and, and deliver the pregame speech for us. Cool. Uh, he's, he's, well, we're he's just uh, so glad that you was you know willing to put the effort in to do what it took to do this. Yeah, I know how tough it is. We we're just super proud of you. I love you. You know that. And, yeah, this has been amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. And, I, and you know, yeah. I keep saying this. Like I said, we love all of McGoffin County, and yeah. Scott does too. But you're sitting here with a bunch of Middle Fork boys, so we're, we're proud of the Middle Fork area. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 We, we can't help it. I mean, we yeah. Middle Fork Elementary alums. Of course, Dom is too old to go to a, like a uh, well, industrial high school. He went to a one-room school, you know. But yeah. the rest yeah, of us all went school. to Middle Fork. And, and like I said, I said before, when you saw the trophy case, when you first walked in Middle Fork Elementary, there was a picture of Scott and Jeff yeah. Castle, yeah. those big trophies. And nets hanging on them, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, I was going to so, uh, so you mentioned my nephew. Let's see here. 
Anyways, guys, while Scott's looking up uh, his photo or uh, on something on his phone, I just like Don't to you say, say uh, thanks to all of our sponsors out there. This wouldn't be possible without oh, you guys. If you're thinking about sponsoring, give me a holler on Facebook or whatever. Well, he shows the family resemblance. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 And he's a senior this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can get him on oh, camera. Yeah. yeah. Wow. If zoom him yeah. in or not. So we're looking at a picture of Scott, uh, Jeff's son, Scott's twin brother's son, uh, Carter, and uh, he's him and Scott and and Jeff in a picture. I'm together. sure he's a fine young man, and and looks like an exceptional no young man. And, and for those of you that have not met him, you'll get to meet him Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, be a, he'll be playing at Rupp Arena. And please don't holler no bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember our coaches, uh, our coaches' nephews on the other team. So let's keep it civil, you know. Yeah. And we'll let him and Jeff we'll let have, Scott have do their the hollering at personally, you know. He, yeah. I'd say that phone call after the game Wednesday we'll is going to be Scott all right. him, you know? <laughs> So are these boys are they excited as like we would we would be if we got to play in Rupp Arena? That oh, yeah. just, that's just insane yeah, to me. Yeah, uh, you know, they, I told them you guys will always be a legacy around here now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so they're, they're setting be too, Scott. Well, setting you know, it's, it's not about me. It's about uh, about these kids. But uh, you know, we were waiting on WYMT to come and interview uh, some of the players and Coach Adams and and the judge and the developmental league uh, had games at the high school and there's people walking in. And some of the players were sitting there and. And, and I don't know how many autographs that they had to sign. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they deserve. But uh, we we are taking the basketball team in the morning to uh, Sayersville Grade School. Oh, yeah, I read awesome. that this and, morning. And then or uh, sometime. Uh, on Monday we'll be going to North McGoffin and South McGoffin, uh, just to show our appreciation of uh, you know all the posts that was made, uh, children with the posters, the T-shirts, yeah. um, and the support that they. Uh, gave the boys during the regional tournament. We want to return that uh, favor. And, 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 and being being from a, a person that experienced it, and, and we all have, it really means something when those high school kids come down to those oh, yeah. lower levels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now, it's Scott, an inspirational thing. You know, it's about the kids, but, you know, sometimes history finds you, whether you're going to be a part of it or not. <laughs> well, and, you know, 100 we, years from now, people are going to talk about it. Yeah. And, and Scott Arnold's the you're gonna be assistant mentioned. coach, you right? Know, you just can't have yeah. it. He, it's he big. Is. Okay, he's been involved in sports since I was in high school. So I'd yeah. just like to shout out, you know, and I, and uh, Scott Arnold, Gerald Harold also, Gerald Harold, yeah, Gerald, the Betsy Lane Bobcat preseason. Yeah, and uh, really, yeah, we we reached out. Gerald, Gerald, great coach. He is. He he knows basketball. He does. And then I think Johnny Lovely's your stat keeper. Johnny so Hot, stat keeper. Uh, Listen, it uh, mature leaders, uh, everybody. The, I mean, the win hit Johnny hard uh, uh, the, after yeah. the championship game. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. I said, it, it hit everybody hard. Oh, we yeah. want to give uh, the cheerleaders a shout, guys. The, the fans, everybody's the involved. Dancers, I know I'm going to leave somebody out. Oh, Lord, I have yeah, to mention the best name because my daughter's the coach. Uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. Mackenzie so, uh, Castles, you know, his daughter's the coach yeah. of the dance team, so we want to give oh, okay. them a shout Okay, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Now, Scott, the band was awesome. You, you ended up. You anything you want to say? Uh, you can stay the here. The band, with us, guys. Uh, listen, I, I've noticed the band. I, 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 I want to speak thought. on this. Uh, I'm told we have a band director now that drives here from Lexington just to teach band. We have the best band director and in the state. I watched him. Really I is. watched him up there, and he was so engaged with the crowd. He's playing the saxophone right with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Just jamming, getting it all going, and I know my daughter was in band at one point, and he drives from Lexington just to come down here so these kids can have a band. He's today. outstanding. And he's a great and guy. Talk to him. Him. He's a yeah. nice yeah. guy, really super good guy. So we, Mr. Pence, is that right, Scott? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to give the band and Mr. Pence a shout out also because they really impressed And all them. our fans, boy. We got and some all great fans. fans. Yep. Yeah, we got great, County. great parents and everything oh, out there. Yeah. And, and like I said, this, this, this fellow over here, I, I can't imagine the dedication that he's put into the program. I'm sure there's nights he's tired and wants to go home and go to bed. He, <laughs> yeah. he drives on anyway, and it's. It, I think it. I think, and he can tell you more than me. It's a love of the game, but mostly it's a love of the kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it. Re I'd say it really hurts you to see them come and go. Don't we? It does. Have to graduate it does. Them. You know, and, and you know, probably the best thing about coaching is uh, I don't know how many texts from former players I got uh, wishing me good luck, telling me that they love me before the regional championship game. And uh, you know that's that's worth it all right there. Yeah. It, when it, did you realize in that game that we're gonna do it? Well, uh, 
when the final horn sounded because I didn't want to get my hopes up. Uh, there, was, there was plays in the game. That's what I was telling Tony yeah. with 30 seconds to go. Yeah, yeah we're up 10. by 12 yeah, or 13, so. Dawson. I believe we got it one. I see you <laughs> yeah. uh, there was points in the game that I could see it on, on Martin County's players' face. Uh, that's what I thought, too. Their emotions, the way that they, they you could yeah, they, see it in them. And I remember looking and telling Coach Arnold, I said, we've got them. They yeah. kind of quit uh, pressing and everything, yeah. and I was like, that's it. They, they, they threw it in. Yeah. That little zone, I mean, we're getting back on stuff, but yeah. uh, I don't know what that was exactly. It, it's something like a 1-3-1 one, three, one three, almost. 3-2 three, three, two three, two. zone. Yeah, 3-2 zone, and but sometimes we'll drop Zane in from the point. Into that was the difference it was. that I didn't recognize. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, and I think it confused them when they come down the middle. Is it's falling backwards? Yeah, shoot. exactly. They had meeting resistance. Yeah. They didn't get to come across the lane. No. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions out there for Coach Scott Castle, be sure to let us know. I'll try to get them out to you or get him to him. Just uh, leave us a comment. Yeah, guys, we're going. To, we're not going to keep you much longer. We're going to cut <laughs> off here. We've done things a little different tonight, but like I said, we yeah, want to have our our coach here, and and we wanted to support our local team and. <laughs> Normally, you know, we got something crazy to say and something crazy to eat, but tonight it's all about these kids and yeah. Scott Castle and the McGoffin County Hornets. And maybe, uh, Scott, if you would, or, you know, if you ain't too busy, I understand that you are super busy. Uh, come back after this, you go after it's over and maybe bring some of the guys with you, the players. Sure, and, uh, sure. I'd love to. And uh, maybe sign some autographs and, and uh, eat some food, yeah. you know. And, and, and you and your team. Are always welcome up here. Uh, like I said, I said before, I'll say it again. Those are the most well-behaved, respectful young men that I've ever had the pleasure of being around. That's a testimony to their parents, their grandparents, yeah. and you. Yeah, they're good kids. Yeah, they are. They Which are. I know, uh, Mr. Barnes' dad, and I know he he better be a good yeah. kid. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's I, true. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> No, we, we just we have a great group, a great group of kids. Yeah, definitely, they they're uh, so well behaved and respectful. When they come your wife here. says, "Tell Coach Castle not to tell all his plays. Brother could get on and watch." <laughs> so I said, "Tell you not to tell your all wife. Your, plays. your brother, oh, your wife said your brother may be on here watching." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get threatened every night. Did Jeff call you today? What did he want? <laughs> Don't let him see yeah, your phone yeah. or anything. I promise, Andrew, I'm not going to tell him any plays. And what a great, what a great, uh, what a great uh, opportunity. Story. For both of you, though, and story, I know, you know, yeah. I know, being brothers, and especially yeah. being twin brothers, how competitive you yeah. two are. So, yeah. what a great opportunity! Well, you know, Jeff got to got to experience Rupp Arena whenever he was a he was an assistant coach with Henry Webb at at, Floyd, at South Floyd, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they had some really good teams whenever they coached, and and he got a chance to to go to Rupp. So I said, well, I'm gonna. I'm going to touch Rupp Arena's floor whenever they play. Mm -hmm. So I get down, getting ready to step on the floor, and a security guard sees oh, that no. I don't have a, a oh, pass. Oh, no. And back up in the seat. <laughs> <I have to. laughs> so, so Wednesday is going to be my opportunity to put two feet on the floor. Oh, there you go. All you would have had to do is, is dress in South Florida attire and say, I'm Jeff Castle. <laughs> 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 Well, we appreciate have an you, Scott. We're proud of you. I love you. And good thank luck. You. All right. Thank, thank you, you so for much for coming yeah. down. We yeah. appreciate you. Yeah. And we, listen, we're all super proud of you and those kids. And if, if there's everything, anything, anything we can do here for Anything else you want to say, a shout out to anybody? Well, we just want to thank the community for, the, you know, all the support. Uh, uh, I mean, I couldn't tell you the number of calls, texts, uh, you know, uh, people bringing, dropping money off at the Board of Education for, for an experience these kids are never going to uh, forget in their lifetime. Um, again, looking up in the crowd that uh, championship night and seeing oh. the crowd, I mean. No, it was awesome. It, it, yeah, yeah, that was magnetic. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was, it was uh, and uh, we appreciate McGoffin County so much. And, uh, thank you guys for everything. And, you know, we're going to go down, like I said, um, play Wednesday. We're not going down there just to play, but we're going down there to win. And I hopefully believe advance that. to Friday, Friday uh, <coughs> 11. Uh, uh, to, I expect a great crossing is probably going to be waiting in that bracket. So, uh, you know, that's that's going to be a... I read a little bit about them. They're yeah, out of, I did too, and it, went to the, it got real sick. <laughs> they're out of Scott County. Yeah. They're 34-1 and one on the season. Yeah, they're uh, oh. really good. Well, you know, it makes it even a better guys? victory, you know. You know, I'm not sure. Uh, they're they're public. Uh, uh, I'm not sure either. It's, right. a, it's an odd name for a public. Yeah. Uh, it sounds more like a maybe like a provoking. Well, school. you know, oh, yeah. Well, you know, and, just and, be a better win. Yeah, yeah, be better, <laughs> better win, and, and uh, you know, 
mm -hmm. makes you have to go out and play. That's I right. remember the old days when Scott County won it so many times yeah. down there. You know, they had a phenomenal team yeah. back in the, what was that, in the early 2000s? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but uh, this is McGoffin's first trip, guys, with yeah. Coach Amazing. Scott Castle, Amazing. and we are blessed beyond, for the, and we're so proud of these kids, yeah. blessed to have the coach here. We're going to let him go. We're going to end off here with our giveaway. We've got an awesome, uh, thanks to our friends over at Creekside, Creekside. Stitch and more. We've got a 15th Stitching Region 2024 champion McGoffin County Hornets t-shirt. On the back it says Rupp Bound, so it's pretty cool. And then we've got an awesome hat, and uh, she randomly picked up our viewers and shares, and Phoebe Arnett is the winner of that. Phoebe Arnett, if uh, you want to come down to the come farmhouse, down to farmhouse diner and pick it up. Uh, and like I said, uh, thanks to Coach Castle. You're welcome. Uh, uh, thanks for coming being with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, I've got awesome. one more shout out. I've got to do <laughs> one more shout out. All right, here's her talk <laughs> to my granddaughter Marley. She hit a home run earlier in the week. All right, oh, first ever awesome. in softball. Congratulations, nice. Marley. Nice. And uh, awesome. uh, Marley special. Guys, please, you, if you can at all, be at Rupp Arena Wednesday at 11 o'clock to support these kids. They sure have earned it. They've worked their butts off. Yeah, and and, and from, from talking with Brian Conley, I think he, we're expecting to maybe take between six and eight pep buses. Oh, awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Rupp Arena is going to be special yeah, on Wednesday. It's going to be so, awesome. Uh, be, you know, Everybody wear maroon uh, and white. If you're from McGoffin <laughs> County, uh, certainly don't miss that. Now, like yeah, I said, uh, don't come down here looking to eat on Wednesday. There will not be nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Rupp Arena, gas. baby. <laughs> Paul Montgomery Thanks, would like right, to say that he guys. needs gas money to go down <laughs> he there. Don't need take us out, John. <laughs> Ronnie takes care of him. Yeah, son. Guys, we no appreciate we appreciate uh, Coach right. Scott Castle to coming down and being our first official interview. This has been awesome. Go Hornets, and uh, be sure to check out www. God bless you guys. Have a good night. Appalachiaconnection.com. If you can't find us, we'll be on there somewhere. We'll see you guys next time.